episode of Licks, we have Hellfire Club on the sofa. They'll be taking on Rock Band Challenge and seeing if they can top that score that Nice Guy have held for oh so long. Let's see how they get on. Okay, we're joined by Hellfire Club on the sofa. Hi guys, how's it going? Right, how are you? Good, thank you. It's awful weather today, isn't it? Oh, incredible. Okay, we'll start off with the first question. It's always a good place to start. Who were your influences as a band? It could be sort of individual or as a collective. I think we probably all have different influences. I mean, Mark's the main songwriter, so that probably his influences would uh, sort of dictate what the songs are like mostly. But um, well, well, I'm the drummer, so I kind of my influences would be drum guys and sort of John Bonham and sort of classic rock that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, where you'd be a wee bit more. Sort of yeah, I mean, to be honest, I started listening to a lot of the older stuff that you would say you told me you were influenced by whenever we were in the initial stages of forming the band, you know, before that I'd have been, you know, into the more sort of modern blues like BRMC and, you know, that kind of thing. Is there anybody locally that sort of changed your style so, since you've started? How long have you been going as a band? It's been three years. Three years. Three years. Three years. Four years. Is there any sort of local influences that you've had, um, you've noticed and they sort of affected your style in any way? There's loads of good bands that um, they sort of that uh, sometimes show you how far you can kind of push stuff to be a wee bit more uh, out there. Do you have a standard three piece drums, guitar, bass, uh, yeah. as well there? Yeah. If you had to pick an obscure instrument, that it could be anything you want it to be, what would it be that you would add to the band? We were trying to think of this a while back there, and uh, we've had a few like weird ones. Tried a few things out. With stylophone. Anything that really didn't work? Um, uh, the stylophone broke, yeah. which is a shame. It's not really designed. We tried. We had a stylophone um, put through a distortion pedal through an amp. Right. So that was like for a drone effect, but it sort of it wasn't really gig worthy. It's not really. It didn't, yeah, it didn't. It didn't, it didn't make it. I think it had, we had one it gig, just, uh, and then it just wasn't broke. Wasn't robust so. enough. Is there anything you'd like to try that you haven't tried before? Ah, uh, we were saying about there's some instrument Thomas Edison invented. It's like a massive glass bell thing. Right. It's like a corkscrew, but it's huge, and there's a foot pedal. And half of it's submerged, I think. And there's a foot pedal that just rotates it, and then you wet your fingers, and you know, like you play a glass. Musical glasses, it's yeah. like that, yeah. Uh, but you can play chords and stuff on it. I'm going to have to Google that. Yeah, there is. I don't know if really it's really 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 I, I looked at There is samples of it on the web. Uh, there, there is. Yeah. There are examples of Definitely it. Definitely going to want you to remind me about that. Definitely not. In the three years you've been playing together, Dare say you've had some interesting gigs. Uh, what would be your worst and your best gig? Uh, well, we played a. It was, a, a mm, it was like naming names. We we played a charity gig once. Um, so there was us and a support band, and um, it, it happens. It happens to everyone. Basically, no one showed up. So the support band there, there with the kind of music with the long songs and stuff. So I think they played for about an hour. Um, and it got to the stage where I think the, the bar just said, look, we have to pack up here. So we, I think we had about 10 minutes. She said, look, yeah. just go on, play three songs. <laughs> just for just for turning up, really. And that was, so that was it. Unfortunately, well, that was the best yeah. one. So that was, <laughs> yeah. I can't think of the worst one, actually. Yeah. No, um, the best one, we played a gig in Lavery's. It was an EP launch. And nothing particularly special other than just, I think it just really clicked just and, and the crowd was really good yeah we played we supported uh, Black Rebel Motorcycle Club once in Mandela and that was pretty good just from the point of view there was just loads of people there and yeah. seemed to be having a good time and that was quite good yeah. cool. okay where would you most love to play a gig I mentioned earlier on about playing abroad but if you could play absolutely anywhere and usually we get the band saying you know, like a festival or a certain gig but if you could play absolutely anywhere where would you play yeah, we all said Stonehenge. <laughs> yeah. At Stonehenge. <laughs> Man, I'm just the biggest crowd up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. actually on the uh, actual side. <laughs> <on that>, so. <laughs> Maybe. If any local bands you think have great potential for the future, um, we've had a few guys on that have never mentioned this sort of same, similar sort of style of bands, but is there anything you guys think? Potential wise, they have some, something, something going that they could take it maybe across the water into Europe or up into America and stuff? Think, well, the usual suspects are definitely yeah, like a quality yeah. above the rest. I think. Like, yeah, for all the different styles, or whatever, they're, you can always hear quality. Mm. Cool. We played with band Bonvilles, the Bonvilles, and 
they you know have that two piece sort of blues thing you know like the white stripes black keys sort of sign I think they could probably do well for themselves yeah that's what um, yeah okay cool and the last question guys is where's the strangest place you've ever played a guitar strangest um I don't know I did I did some busking recently for a competition that I'd never done before and that was a new sort of weird experience for me you know just so just like on the street or was yeah, like on the street? Or? No, just, uh, on, just on the street. Outside Castle Court <laughs> and uh, it's just enjoyable at some parts but uh, disconcerting at the same time just being a ghost, you know, just being ignored. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, well guys, thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Well done, guys. Good stuff. Okay, rock band challenge, we have the Hellfire Club. So let's just let the drummer pick his sticks up and we'll get home with it. Go for it guys. <laughs> Okay guys, that's, that's another fail. Good. Another fail to add to our list of fails <laughs> on Rock Band Challenge from the Hellfire Club. 16. They got through 16%, but... Yeah! Win some Yeah! So there you have it, another catastrophic... Catastrophic? So there we have it, another catastrophic failure on the Rock Band Challenge from the Hellfire Club. Join us for the next episode when we have Storm Zone in on the couch for the questions and their chance at the Rock Band Challenge. See if they can knock Nice Guy off the top. See you then.